let's make sure that we have our hair tied up and that we have a good amount of space around us before we start our exercise. We need one thing today, and if you have it, something like a shirt or a little towel. That's what we're gonna be needing today. But if you don't have it, we can make pretend with something else. Okay, now I need towel. Small towel. <laughs> It's like a goose chase because <laughs> everything. Yeah. All right, Aviana's got her towel. Sienna's got her towel. Great. And if you have a space on the floor, hopefully it's a carpeted area that we can work with together. Can it be a mat? Do you want to towel for the floor, Yeah. There you go. Well, I may have to anyway. Okay, so first things first, we're going to get a warm up. You guys are welcome to follow along with me as I do the warm up, okay? So make sure you've got some space and any siblings or um, even the parents, you guys are welcome to join in if you want. All right. All right, we're going to start jogging in place. And we're going to get some pogo jumps, trying to keep your knees straight. Jump with your toes. And I like our funny hops. Five more seconds, four. Three, two, one. Hop on one leg. I want you to use your arms when we do our one leg hop. And switch your legs. Other leg. All right, everyone go through some ski jumps. Together. Keep going, let's do 10 more seconds. I'm just gonna turn some friends on mute so that we can all hear. All right, keep going, ski jumps, five more seconds. And we're gonna do some wide froggy jumps with your feet out to the side, tap the floor, and jump up. I want you girls to point your toes every time you jump. Let's get five more. Three, two, one. Great job. All right. And we're going to do those quick kicks in front of us. Hands can be on your hips or in running arms. Every time you kick, straighten your knee. All right, we're gonna get some crab cross. <laughs> so, knees, hands and feet, lift your bottom up. You're gonna take the opposite foot and the opposite hand and tap above. Let's see, I'm gonna see how you guys are doing with it. <laughs> Let's do eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Keep the bottom up. Two, one. We're going to flip it over and do the same thing, but on our hands and feet this time this way. One. you go all the way back of your mat or wherever you're standing. Knees are straight 
and you're gonna walk your hands all the way out with straight knees. Walk your hands out as far as you can. Squeeze your tummy tight, squeeze your ears. And then walk your hands all the way back. That's one. Let's do four more. On your own, do four more. Make sure your knees are super straight the whole time. Do three more. Stay straight, Yumi. Keep those knees as straight as you can. Good, Sienna. Make sure we stand all the way up after each one. Stand all the way up. Good, Aviana. Great job. All right, we're gonna do a little bit more of our warm up. It's a little fun one. So we're going to do something called side burpees. So you're gonna squat. Make sure you have room to the left and right of you. You're gonna go down to the floor and you're gonna jump your feet out to the side. Hit the back in the middle and jump up. Now let's go to the other side. Jump in the middle. Jump your feet out to the side and in the middle. Good, Santa. Let's do three more. Ready? One. Up. Is this new for you, Abby? Up. Up. Three. I, if I do it with you. Yeah. Good. Are you guys all nice and warm now? Yeah. Good. We go with this. So. Let's go through and do our stretch that we normally do together. Okay. Let's have. Awesome. Aviana, do you want to start us off with our? I think good. Backward arm circles. Elbows straight. We're going to go backwards for 10, 9, 7, 6, 4, 3, 2, 1. And go in the other direction. Forward 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. I did not do that to you. 3, 2, 1. And crisscross for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Elbows out. Yumi, do you want to count our twisters? Yeah. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And Sienna, you want to count our uh, bent over twisters? Yes. One, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great. And Aviana, can you count 10 seconds in our pie? One, two, three, four, five, five six, seven, eight, nine, ten. ten. Good. And uh, Yumi, 10 seconds in our tuck, trying to push our heels down to the floor. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And we're going to jump into our straddle five times. Jump your straddle and tuck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I'm just watching it. Can get in the bag, guys? Okay. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Go up on our knees. And one leg in front. Push your hips forward. Keep your chin up tall, chest up tall. And backward arm circle, head down. 
to really try to get our back bend down into our bridge. If, if you need a spot, and if your parent is there with you, then I'm going to ask the parents to just put their hand on your back as you go down. Okay? So parents, if you're spotting them into their back bend, you're just gonna put your hand right on their back and they'll be able to do it themselves as long as you're supporting their back. So look for the floor, girls. Look for the floor first and slowly, slowly. Good, Sienna. Good. Aviana, did you get yours? And hold for five seconds. Try to straighten those knees. Four. Good, Aviana. Two. One. Mommy, I did five. Nice. And come on down and rock and roll. One more time. Let's do three rock and rolls just to stretch our backs out. Daddy. Awesome job, girls. All right, so we're going to put to use those towels or those shirts that you guys have. So one of the very first things to do though, when we stop our gymnastics is our grip strength. So these muscles in our arms that yeah. help us hold on to the bar, this is what really weak. Really, really weak. You're going to place your, place your towel down on the floor or your shirt. And I want you to keep your hand on the ground. Don't move your hand. The only thing moving is your, is your. Oh, 
you're going to use your fingers and grab the shirt and pull it in. And keep pulling it until it's all the way in so you can touch the ground. Look. Then you're going to reset it. And two more times. Don't let your hands move on the ground. And pull, pull. It kind of looks like a claw. Now crawling. Let's do three on each hand. Keep your hands in one place on the floor. Pull it in. All right, I'm gonna start the other arm. Keep your fingers out as far as you can touch. Keep pulling it in until you can touch the floor. I'm going to do one more and then I'll show you the foot one that we're going to do. All right, the same type of thing with your feet. So if your towel is a little bit too big, it might be harder. So make it the shorter way in front of you. So you're going to plant your heel on the floor in one spot, put some pretend glue there, and you're going to try and pull that cloth, that cloth all the way under your foot. Don't let your foot move up. So I don't want you to be picking up your leg like this. Only your toes can pull it in. I know it seems a little silly, but it's going to be working a lot of really good muscles that we're going to be missing out on from not having those um, apparatuses available to us. Right. I'm going to do three on the other side. So glue your heel down to the floor. There you go. I'm going to do one more on this foot. So anytime we have access to something that's going to improve our strength, whether it's monkey bars or a bar or even like things, anything that's going to help us with those pulling muscles, that's what's gonna, um, we're gonna probably see atrophy the most um, during this pause. Uh, like a few minutes. You get snack breaks in two hours. Oh, so I, I think I know what the pause is for. Medium. All right, together, wherever you are, we're going to get a 30 second leg hold. So remember when Coach Jay would say, straighten your legs, point your toes, and I would come and poke your, your leg muscles and see if they were jello or if they were tight. We're gonna do that together for 30 seconds. So with your knees out in front, I want you to have jello legs. Squeeze your legs. Squeeze your legs super tight and point your toes. 30, 29, 28. Come on. Come on. Come on. If your parents are there, I want your parents to come and poke your legs a little bit. See if they're jello or if they're tight. Five seconds, four. Squeeze your knees super straight. Three. One, and shake it out. Yay. This is how we shake it out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do that one more time. Yeah. Straight knees as tight as you can. Ready? Go, squeeze those legs, no jello. Tight legs. Yeah. 
Squeeze them tight. Don't let them get jello. Let <laughs> my skin squeeze. For five seconds. Four. Squeeze them tight. Feet together. Three, two, one. Right, shake it out. Whoa! 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 That was pretty strong. Huh? It's cool now. Huh? We're running out of time for our circuit here. I think I'll probably push that to another day. Let's do a little bit of tripod balancing, and then we'll get a stretch and story time. Okay? All right. So a tripod is a really good way to practice our balance muscles in our arms without taking up a lot of space. Like a handstand, you need a lot of space around you because if you fall, you need to know how to come down safely. But a tripod, you can just stay in one place. So you girls have probably never really done these before. So take it really slow. You're gonna put your hands on the ground. And I want you to bend your elbows a little bit and bring your knees on the back of your arm. I just would make it taller. Even taller? Yeah. And I want you to lean forward as you point your toes. Make it taller. You can show me a try in their try. Maybe it's a button Almost, Aviana. I want your knees on your on the back of your arm. I lift up on top of my elbow. My to go on my. There you go. Good. Good job, Aviana. Great. Did you did you get it, Yumi? Good job. Good, Sienna. Can you put your knee on the back of your arm? There it is. Good one. Yeah, Those are pretty tricky to balance. All of them. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see. Good. All right, let's get a seal stretch. As <laughs> gymnastics apparatuses. We may have a bar, or we may have a balance beam, or we may have an air track, or even a trampoline. I have a trampoline! So, we want us to be working on our skills, such as cartwheels, bridge pickovers, and lots of bridges. Maybe even some handstand bridges. Okay. We have access to a safe trampoline or an air track. What's the air track? Air track, you know, you guys remember that little, um, that little square kind of air tube that we had in the small room that we did those bounders on? I think Aviana and Sienna might remember a lot. Where we did these bounders like this. Whoa. That's an air track, that little gray one at home. Right. Okay, so Coach Jay had an older sister when she was growing up doing gymnastics, just like you guys. And one of the ways that we got really good at gymnastics really fast was because we did gymnastics a lot at home. So not only were we doing it in the gym, but we were also doing it at home. So a big component of it is just to do it repetitively. And so I'm really happy to hear that you guys are working on things like your bridge pickovers and your splits and your handstands at home. So, <laughs> we're going to have another class 
on Thursday in two days at three o'clock again, okay? And some of our homework until then is to do our one minute in each split. Probably Yumi's been doing this a lot. She said last time, good. I want us, if we have been doing them, to do splits and lifting up our back leg. So when you get to your split, straight your back knee up off the ground. Some virtual high fives way up high.